Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over more Microsoft Intune stuff. Obviously, if you knew me, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So for today, we're going to go over uh, Windows 10 enrollment or Windows 11 enrollment, rather. We're going to en enable or enroll Windows 11. So some of the stuff is not going to work for me because I don't have the necessary licenses. But if you have an Intune's license, you have the right license, you should be able to do this and it should work for you because it did work for me today. So I did this for a company today. So um, it should work for you if you have the right licenses. But I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it should work for you if you do it, if you have the right license. It's not going to work for me because I don't have a license for it, but it, you should be able to do it. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, screen three, screen share. Okay. So this is the enrollment um, for Windows enrollment. I, if you want to set up an enrollment for Windows 11, you can. So to configure that, you have to go here. Um, you set this to all, 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 which is I did that already. And you want to you want to confirm your um, your C name is right here. Validation. I'm not, mine doesn't work. I already tested it. It's not going to work for me, which is no. I mean, it's not the end of the world, which is fine. Um, and then what you want to do next is you want to look at your your device platform restrictions. So this tells you like. Um, default says all users. Yes. I set it up this way. Um, just click on it, click on properties. And it says, we're going to, we're going to allow, 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 allow for windows, Mac, everything, Android, which is fine. So default that's set up that that's set up that way. And then device limitation is how many devices can enroll per user will be five. So you can set up a limit of five or more entirely up to you if you want to edit this. Um, and then. If you want to set up Windows Hello for your for security for security purposes, I mean, I would recommend turning this on. So I would configure it and enable it and turn it on. If it was me, I mean, I'm not going to do that today, but this is how you would do it. So if you have all this set up, you should be good to go, right? And then the next stuff you got to look at for this would be um, your device profile. So your device profile is right here. I don't have a profile. You would create a Windows 10 PC profile. So this is for your out-of-box experience. So we're going to call it Windows 11, right? And we can call it Windows 11. Convert autopilot, yes. You know, hit next. And then what you want to do is you want to say, is it going to be user-driven? Yes. Is it going to be Microsoft intro join? Yes. Um, do you want Microsoft license, uh, Microsoft software license terms? Show or hide? So all this is hidden for me. Um, user account type is it a standard account administrator? We don't want them having a, a stand. We don't want them having an admin account. It doesn't make any sense, right? So they're gonna be a standard account, and then you hit next, and then you want to include all. You want to include certain people in it. So here we're not gonna include anything right now, and you hit next, and you hit create. So that's the that's the policy for all enrollment. So now this is set up properly. And then here's your enrollment status page, which is this stuff right here. You have to set this up as well. Your enrollment, your enrollment status page will give you more information about your enrollment during the initial sale when you first sign in. So you got to set this up as well. I mean, I created mine already. So that's also need also needs to be set up. And then what you want to do is, just give me a second. You also want to set up your compliance, right? So your compliance would be right here. So you would create a, a template for Windows 10. And hit create. And then we're gonna we're gonna call it uh Keftech. So it's gonna be because my my domain is Keftech. And then we're going to create a compliance as well for settings. Like, do you want, what do you want for the compliance to be, right? So all this stuff needs to be set up. So when the computer, when the computer you set up goes to this domain or this set or this, when it's set up on the enrollment, it does all these requirements for it. So do you want the computer to have BitLocker? Yes or no. Do you want it to have Secure Boot? Yes or no. Do you want it to have Code Integrity? Yes or no. And it says minimum password OS version, um, required device compliance, password require, 
Um, you put you set that up as well. And then yeah, that's it. And then you hit next. And then you can change this like on sequence of schedules, how it's set up. You hit next. And then here you would you will create or assign the assignment to this will be under all devices. So all the devices that, that do join, they, they have to do go through this compliance policy. And you hit continue and you hit create. So it's a, the compliance is set up for KevTech. And then these are the configurations right here. So I don't have anything set up right now. But if I wanted to, I would create a policy and I could push out certain applications or certain software. So like there's templates here. Uh, I could set up certain things here like certificates, maybe administration template, uh, maybe maybe a go here in settings catalog and set this up. So this is like for your Windows operating system, like settings for Windows operating. Like you could you could set up password, account creation, account lockout, not account creation, but account lockout, things like that. Let me just let me just show you real quick because you're probably like, what is he talking about? Let me show you real quick. So templates, administration templates, create. We're gonna call it test. Test. Um, and then here is like you you could create a template out of this. So like Think is like your, this is like your group policy, right? For instance, think of it as a group policy for instance, if that makes sense. It's pretty much almost the same thing, kind of. And then you have your, you have Chrome here, Chrome. And then you could set up like password manager, enable leak detection, and it tells you more information about it. And then these are like policies you push out to that computer, whether it's through Chrome or um, Microsoft Windows administration settings. So this would be like your policies that we pushed out to that device. So I'm going to go back a little bit and I'm going to select something else. Their desktop. And let's see here. So you can do that, remove computer, hit OK and hit next. And then here you can put, and this is for all devices. And then you hit next and then create. So all devices now are gonna be part of that policy, that test policy. So yeah, um, yeah, that's it. To do enrollment is not that complicated. I thought it was super duper hard. I was like stressing myself, but I actually got this to work today. Um, and you just gotta set all this stuff up. Once you set all this up, the all you literally gotta do is log in with your email address and your password, and you're all set after that, if that makes sense. That's all you gotta do. Um, yeah, and that's it for enrollment. That's all I got for you for today. Yeah, so that's it for enrollment. That's all I got for you to, for today. Yeah, so you set up the C name validation. Um, you can change the device limited restriction. You set up the Windows Hello for Business. You want to make sure you have a license for it. I don't have a license, so I can't. Certain things I can't do. I don't have a license. If I did have a license, and I would show you from scratch, me doing it, and then me logging into a device and then setting it up from scratch. I don't have a license, but that's how you would do it if that makes sense. So hopefully this helps you out. It's just like a little bit of navigation with Intune and Windows enrollment. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Bye.